New details tonight on a local woman who is using her personal experience and her business to help others. After losing a child and starting a business, Christy Unick and her husband decided to make some big changes during the pandemic. Channel 8's Mackenzie Johnson has more on their heartwarming story. Mackenzie. That's right, the eunuch's oldest son died shortly after he was born from a congenital heart defect. Years later, they're using their business to bring hope to other parents in similar situations. In 2017, Christy Eunuch and her husband took a big risk. They sold their home and started a bounce house business. But during the pandemic, their business pivoted. Instead of bounce houses, Unique Events now rents out tents, tables, chairs, and more. And while this new business was thriving, Christy and her husband had another passion. My husband and I have also walked the journey of having a child born with a congenital heart defect. The realization of your child being born with um, a severe and, and honestly, deadly illness. Their son, Kean, died the same day he was born during open heart surgery. Christy began working with the nonprofit Heart Heroes. During the pandemic, she wanted to help them. That's how another business, Virtually Unique Boxes, was born. We were sending um, special gift boxes to those hospitals full of just items. And we themed each gift box, actually. So like if one had a heart, uh, like a hero theme, everything in that box was hero themed. And we put little notes on it and handwritten. And um, just really just to let them know that other people are thinking of them and give them a little bit of something to cheer them up while they're in the hospital because those walls seem pretty white sometimes. <laughs> they wanted to send hope to families as they had once been in their place. What's at our core is all we want to do is just connect with someone. There's just a whole nother connection when you have someone who knows exactly what it feels like. Lately, Christy has thrown her attention into their event business. They've grown it from small bounce houses to assembling more than 90 tents for events. They've even expanded into Kansas under a contract with KU. Christy says it's because they took risks. You never know um, when you're an entrepreneur what one yes will do for your company. And Christy hopes to eventually use her companies to start her own nonprofit to help many more people.